Hi, this is Ellen Spinkelstein, and I want to show you how you can find out how many searches a keyword gets. You need to create a Google AdWords account. And a, a Google AdWords account is an account that you use when you want to buy pay-per-click ads, but you don't actually have to buy the ads. And the account gives you a keyword tool. So once you've created an account and logged in, you would click tools up here and then keyword planner and there are several tools but the one that I use is this one here get search volume for a list of keywords and I basically you can get them all at once but because usually when you're doing a pay-per-click ad you might use several keywords but I'm going to do them one at a time and by the way, you can target a specific location. I've blurred this out because it's I was doing this for my client. So here you just type a keyword. So for example, I might want to do landscaper. And then just click down here, get search volume. So here you can see, first of all, this is an obvious thing for a landscaper, that people don't search for landscapers very much in December. This is the last 12 months of searches in that local area. Uh, obviously in the summer it's, it's higher. And there's a little bit of a bump in the fall. But the, but the average is, is 4,100. Now the competition is high, meaning there are a lot of people buying ads for that term. And then this, there's a suggested bid to, to get that, but we're not talking about using, getting pay-per-click ads right now. We're just talking about finding out how many people search for a term. So 4,100. Now I'm going to change that to landscaping and cl click get search volume. Now all of a sudden here you see it's 49,500. Now the area that I have is a state in the United States, and so that's a huge number of monthly searches from within that state for landscaping. So, you, And of course the competition is, is very high. Let's do another set of terms. We can do pavers. And it's 27,100, which is a lot. Again, the competition is high. And we could compare that to paving. And that goes down to 2,900. So you can see related similar words, but there's a huge difference in the number of people that search for them. So you want to find the words that a lot of people are searching for and use them on your website. Ideally, you want to keep on doing this until you can find terms that have a lot of monthly searches but have a fairly, have either medium or low in terms of the competition and that's your gold. That's where you can use a term, not as many other people are using it and yet a lot of people are searching for it. It's not easy to find those terms but if you search, you, you can you can come up with something. You don't need to have huge numbers, even if only a thousand people are looking for them and very few other website owners are using them, then you might be able to capture that market.